Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm kind of excited because I'm doing like a little vlog. I'm gonna still share some Thanksgiving um, day outfit ideas later on in this video, which I will leave the timestamp down below if you just wanna like skip this whole part. But I thought it'd be really fun to share a Thanksgiving appetizer idea with you guys that I have been doing. It's a recipe that I found on Pinterest and I have been really into goat cheese lately. So whenever I saw this on Pinterest, I, was, I had to try it. So I tried it a couple of months ago and I've already made it twice because it's so good. So I thought it'd be a really good like appetizer idea, especially for Thanksgiving. I think it's kind of like a holiday inspired. I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. But anyways, I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, so what we're gonna make, they're called goat cheese pinwheels and they're basically goat it's goat cheese and fig pinwheels uh, and they're so good they're a little bit savory but they're a little bit sweet so it's an appetizer but yet like it almost kind of like feels like a dessert but it's just so delicious so what you're gonna need is some sort of pie crust so I have this one right here you want to make sure that you get like the sheets um, and then you're gonna have goat cheese I just got crumbled goat cheese from Whole Foods um, I also got this one from Whole Foods. You need some sort of fig spread. This one is the organic Adriatic fig spread and they have different flavors. I just got like the regular fig, fig spread. They also had one that was like, I think a cherry flavored one. I don't know, orange one I think as well. But I just got this regular one. You're gonna need thyme. Now the recipe suggests fresh thyme, but of course it's always out. Every time I go to the store, it's out. One time I got lucky, and that was it, but it has since dried up, so I had to just get dried time. And then you're gonna need some brown sugar. So the first thing we need to do is get a sheet pan. I don't know who else stores their sheet pans in the oven, but I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on um, me. <laughs> me oven, I'm gonna turn on my oven. Uh, I'm just gonna put it at 375 and it's gonna start. We're gonna build our pinwheels. So what you are going to do I'm gonna get some parchment paper. I always get too much. Okay, and yes, I have washed my hands. So. Okay, so we have our sheet pan and then we're gonna go ahead and take your pie crust. I think there's like two in here. Yeah, there's two. I'm hoping that this works because this one is round. The first time that I made it, it was more of a rectangle. So it was easier to make like log out of it. We're just gonna go with it. So this is our pie crust. You're just gonna put that down. Okay, and then we're going to spread the fig jam all over it. So, okay. so you just take this and spread it all over. Okay, so once we have all of that spread all over, I have a mess going on here, uh, we are going to go ahead and put our goat cheese. I have been loving goat cheese. There is this um, little restaurant that we go to where they have like melted um, goat cheese and it's so good and they give you with like this bread. I absolutely love it. So. You don't need a lot. Goat cheese can be a little overbearing so that you really don't need like a whole lot of it, um, but just enough. I like these crumbles because some of them, you can even crumble it up a little bit more if you wanted to, but let's just add a little. Uh, I want the smaller crumbles really. Because whenever you have the pinwheel, it's gonna, you know, you don't want like a big old glob of. Once we have that, we are gonna put some brown sugar. So we're just going to sprinkle this. Then we are gonna go ahead and get our thyme all over. Clearly I don't measure, I just, <laughs> I just go. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it. So we're just going to roll this. because I feel like it's gonna hold up whenever I cut it. The other one was just so flimsy and the pinwheels were, would flatten out and so. Okay, so I have my log here and I'm just going to cut little um, sections, probably about, I don't know, maybe an inch thick. And obviously whenever you put it in the oven and it cooks, it's going to expand. So it's going to be more of a pinwheel. There you have it. So from the one crust that I used, I was managed to get 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you get 12. So you get a dozen. I have these other two, but I mean, they don't really have a lot of filling. So I'm just going to toss those. Actually, I probably will cook them and eat them. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put them on our baking sheet. I'm probably making them wrong, but this is not a, uh, a food channel. So um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that you mix both the egg and the yolk. I don't know. So anyways, we're just gonna do that. Um, and I don't have a brush. So you know what? I'm just going, this is for my family. So I'm just gonna use my finger that's clean and just kind of egg wash it on the outside like this. All right. So that is how they're going to look. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop them in the oven. Um, I'm going to clean this up and then we'll get right to the Thanksgiving outfit ideas. Okay, excuse the mess back there. I'm like waiting for the girls to get uh, back from school and then we're going to finish decorating. So we still have to decorate. Um, we're still decorating for the holidays. So... <laughs> All the bins are out there, um, but we should get that done this weekend. So here's an, a little outfit that is like casual and cozy. I shared this uh, turtleneck with you guys from H&M yesterday on my H&M haul. And again, just absolutely love it. Thankfully, this Thanksgiving, we're supposed to have um, semi-cool weather usually uh the past few years it's been really really warm uh during thanksgiving but i think it's going to be down to the 60s which that's cold um for here in texas so i mean i don't know this might be still a little bit too warm but if you're somewhere where it's like super super um cold you might um enjoy this because it's just oversized and cozy and you can eat whatever you want and it's not clingy which i love um i just paired them with these faux leather leggings these are from abercrombie i got them a couple of years ago they are super warm as well i don't wear them very often because again it's so warm here but i really like how they pair um like the shiny faux leather leggings with like a cozy knit like this and then for shoes i just decided to style it with something flat and comfy these are from vive and they are absolutely like pillows for your feet they are so comfortable um they are like a flat toe type of a ballet flat we're going to something that's very casual like family um house or home and uh you just want to be comfortable that i think this outfit is like the way to go so here's another outfit idea that you can do if you want to swap out the big chunky net and instead um i just have a t underneath so this is like an eight dollar tee from target and then i just put a shacket over it and this is from h m and what i like about it is that it covers the backside whatever your style preference is personally i would not walk around with just like very tight exposed leggings like this unless it's a workout outfit um then i will if i'm doing like athleisure then it's fine if i'm wearing like those like athletic type of leggings but for some reason whenever i dress an outfit that is just like i just don't want to expose everything you know so the jacket is like perfect because it just covers and it's a little bit more lightweight so that you're not like super constricted with the outfit so still wearing the same Abercrombie leggings and the shoes again comfy shoes you just can't go wrong with them so this is another outfit idea you can try okay here is another outfit idea if you need something that's just a little bit dressier or you just prefer to get a little bit more dressed up for the occasion. You can never go wrong with some trousers. Absolutely love these. These I got a couple years ago from Mango and there's just wide leg trousers. I think they just look so chic and that they're not like jeans where it's really constricting. I mean, you can still eat and enjoy yourself and have fun, but you're still comfortable and put together. I paired it here with this Mango cami. It's just very lightweight. So again, this would be a great outfit for if the weather is not super, super cold. Um, clearly because I'm wearing like sandals here. These aren't very high either. So um, you know, I mean, well, they're not high for me, so they are very comfortable because of the type of heel that they are. I'm going to also link my Amazon ones that are kind of like similar heel and they're very comfortable to wear if you're looking for like a strappy black sandal. And then I paired it here with an H&M cardigan jacket. This one is actually back in stock. I absolutely love this for like, if you're trying to look a little bit more put together. It's a really nice addition to an outfit. It looks so put together and so chic and so luxe, but it's H&M, um, the buttons. Just give it a little bit of class. They're really pretty, just gold uh, buttons, but 
just a good structured jacket if you are tired of like the usual cardigan outfit um this is a great alternative as well okay if maybe the cardigan is like a little too workwear for you you can always swap it out for a bomber jacket so this one's from amazon absolutely love it i got it in a size medium such a great find you know again amazon is sometimes hit or miss but this jacket is just perfection. So it gives a little structure to your outfit. And again, it's like a little sporty, a little chic, um, even though you're wearing trousers. And then you can just keep it with the sandal as well if you'd like. Or you can swap them out for some flats and it still looks chic and put together and you're like super, super comfortable. So now, if you insist on a jeans and cardigan outfit, this is a cute little combo as well. I have these Madewell jeans. I have the same little cami underneath and then this cardigan is from Amazon. I love this little combo. It's like very casual and then obviously neutral, which I love. Then I've just paired it with the Vevey um, flats. You can really use just about any flat um let's see i have these sam edelman ones as well i'm not gonna put my whole foot in it but you can kind of see how um it looks with that so that is another option that you can wear just flats um you could definitely pair them with heels if you'd like change it up a little bit and kind of dress it up a little bit more you can add on this oversized double-breasted blazer this is the one another one that i shared yesterday on my H&M haul. Um, so I don't think I shared a video of me wearing it, but this is how it looks. So I got it in a size medium and I just love the way that it looks. It has this really pretty um, herringbone pattern and I just thought it was so unique. I like to wear it just like this, a little um, open. So it just kind of gives a little volume to the top. Um, and then I'm wearing the same Madewell jeans, same little tank, just swapped it out for some heels. You could definitely swap them out for uh, flats if you need to, or even if you have some booties, I think it'll look really cute. But this is another casual outfit idea. And again, because it is jeans, sometimes jeans can be a little restricting. Uh, but this way, you know, you have this big old jacket that covers everything so that you still look good, you still feel good. And I just think it's still a very chic, like a casual look. Another way that you could wear it if you didn't want to wear a long like blazer or coat you can try like a little crop jacket like this one this one i got from zara i'm gonna link a similar one that i found at mango but this one is super cute i think i want to say it's less than 50 bucks uh, i'll go ahead and link this one as well if it's still available um, in the zara website but i just really like the cropped boxy look but paired with the same jeans same tank and then these shoes i actually got during the nordstrom anniversary sale um, but they're just like little flat slingbacks and the slingbacks especially if they're pointed slingbacks i feel like they just dress up an outfit yet they're still super comfortable because they are flats but i just like this outfit as well for a little bit more of an elevated casual look somebody would want like a skirt or dress inspired um thanksgiving outfit personally me like i want to be lounging and chilling and so i usually wear pants but if you wanted to dress it up a little bit you could definitely try a long skirt like this one this one is from abercrombie and then i have this like little festive cardigan this one's from h m i want to say it might be sold out so i'm gonna link both i'm gonna link this one and then i also found one um at express that is super cute and it has two bows so i will link that one as well but this is another great option again the skirt it's like elastic waistband so that's great. And then I just paired it here with my Amazon heels. I actually found them. So these are the heels I was talking to you guys about. These um, come in so many different colors and I love the way they look. They're very understated, but yet they can really dress up an outfit. You can wear that with your skirt and your little cardigan or any type of like little cozy cardigan, I think would be a great idea for a Thanksgiving outfit. So here is another look for you guys so my goat cheese and fig pinwheels are done i just took them out of the oven um and this is basically how they look it doesn't look as good as they were the first time that i made it but let me tell you guys like these are so so good i absolutely love those if you decide to make them for thanksgiving or just for any other occasion don't forget to let me know i'd love to hear how they turned out and your thoughts 
on this appetizer idea. I hope the Thanksgiving outfits were a little bit of inspiration as, as to what to wear for the day. I hope y'all have a wonderful holiday. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found some inspiration in this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.